If you wanna know how I boosted my FPS, just watch this video till the end and I'll show you all my tricks and the settings. What's good with you, man? We are back with another banger, so this time I brought to you guys the best video settings in 2022. Let's get straight into it. But before we continue, here's today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by T Market, the easy to use key marketplace where you can buy trade and sell csgo skin for the best prices these skins is way cheaper if you would buy them on steam so this way you can save a lot of money you can purchase with bitcoin ethereum credit card and with gift card the site has a lot of skins and i expanding every single day you have four and a half stars out of five in trustpilot the link is in the description make sure you check it out boom if you're new to the channel i'm making cs created content so if you are interested in i will leave a playlist in the description so you can get checked it out by yourself i'm making tutorials guys when i'm trying to help the people out I don't want to waste your time so let's get straight into the settings so click on the settings menu video and right here main menu background uh it is a really a personal preference it uh, doesn't change your fps at all you just put it on vertigo and it, the background just changes here uh, I think this Phoenix facility is good. All right, the color mode is computer, monitor. Choose this option to retain more natural lighting and increase brightness in darker shaded areas. Your brightness is custom. Uh, I will put this on at least 120 or all the way up to 130. But like I said, it is a personal preference. It You can just put this on whatever you want. Just don't put this on 80 or under 100 aspect ratio 4x3 you gotta do this if you want the max fps as possible uh the resolution if you play on 4x3 uh then this is the best for you 1024 by 768 display mode to full screen on laptop saving put this on disabled all right in the advanced video section global shadow quality to low to avoid losing massive amounts of frames Keep this setting on low it will allow you to easily see shadowed areas while maintaining enough detail to prevent blurry visuals model texture detail uh low or medium i will put this on medium this will add an additional detail to in-game models while it doesn't drastically affect frame rate it might still be worth keeping this lower to avoid any dips like i said low if you put this on low you still be straight texture streaming enabled uh, texture streaming is a relatively new setting in csgo designed to reduce and the immediate graphic load in older pcs so i recommend put this on enable effect detail to low similar to effect details the shader detail is simply an artistic choice that you should be only activated if you have power to spare all right so the next is the effect detail put this on low there are no direct advantages to keeping these settings higher and you should only be increased if you have a pc that can maintain it shader detail put this on low similar to effect details the shader detail is simply an artistic choice that you should be only activated if you have power to spare boost player contrast enabled this setting quite literally boosts the contrast of enemy avatars making them more visible against the background environment a huge 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 competitive advantage that you should never play without so highly recommend to enable this multi-core rendering enable enable this to allow your pc to run more than one core processor at a time keep this setting good multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode put this on none anti-aliasing is only useful for smoothing out in-game assets edges it's a big drain on frame rate and you should only be turned on if you have frames to spare fxaa anti-aliasing disabled keep the setting off to avoid extreme input lag you don't want those input lags bro keep this on disable texture filtering mode to be linear keep this setting on be linear for the best result wait for vertical sync disable this has some bs bro only decide to run it on if you are willing to risk lag to fix immense screen tearing if you have problems with your screen then enable this motion blur disabled keep this off to remove the more realistic blur associated 
Give me scope movements, triple monitor mode, disabled. Keep this disabled unless you intend to play CSGO across multiple monitors. Let's say you play CS with like two or three monitors. If you got only one, just disabled. Use Uber shaders, disabled. My Valve recommends setting this on auto to reduce hitching and stutters. Many player experience issues with this turn on. I recommend turning this off to start and adjusting as needed. Apply these settings and that's it. That's it for today's video. Um, if you got any ideas, if you got any questions, just let me know in the comment section. I try to reply to every one of your comments. Drop a like, subscribe, check out the playlist in the description. And yeah, bro, I'm raining them out. Let's get it.